Your English sucks. <laughs>
saying what you want to say. Right. Get your meaning out. And I think. You, yeah. And I think a lot of it has to do with the way that we speak Mandarin. Uh huh. We, well, that's right. That's right. I yeah, and、that. I think. Sometimes we try to translate from Mandarin to English, right, 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 and right. using those words somehow fits in that situation. But、right. to a native speaker, it just don't fit. Right, like Chinese, they use a lot of very flowery language or like very specific terms <laughs> that we don't actually use in English, or we don't even think about. I mean, we know the word. If we hear you say, it, we're gonna understand the meaning,、mm-hmm. but we would never speak like that. Right. Right. So I think the conclusion that we can draw from this is be confident. Yeah, speak, yeah. Speak whatever you want to say, and don't worry so much about is my English good, is it bad. Just worry about if the person you're speaking to can understand you. That's、mm-hmm. all that matters, really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, I don't think people are really like if you speak to a foreigner. I've never met a foreigner who's like, ha ha, your English sucks. <laughs> I've never met someone like that. I mean. <laughs> Even like okay, even if we're really really good friends,、uh-huh. we might say like, "Oh, you slipped on a word, you messed up, ha ha ha." Yeah. But it's really it's like we're laughing with each other, and we would do that to native speakers as well. A perfect example is when your mom notices you made a mistake, and she'll be like, "Yeah, Elizabeth, English, English is, is sec- your second language, exactly, exactly." Yeah, yeah. So like even my mother will like make jokes with me about this. So. <coughs> Don't worry. Like Americans are very light-hearted and playful and fun, so don't be intimidated. Just laugh along. Okay, so Eric, I have、mm-hmm. a question for you. Okay. What did you do to change your mindset that helped you be more comfortable with speaking English? So basically, I think what I did was I tried to find as many opportunities that allow me to speak English,、mm-hmm. such as I signed up for an event held by TOEIC.、Mm-hmm. I was there helping foreigners who was in the competition with my broken English. <laughs> At the time, I was really nervous, but whatever it was, I did it, and I found I learned a lot through actually using English. So I think that's what changed my mindset because I feel a sense of achievement when I started to use those words. So basically, you just really pushed yourself to get into English-speaking environments, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I have another question for you. Yes. If you want to give three tips to someone learning English, what、mm-hmm. are the tips that you give them? I think, of course, the first one will be listening. Okay. I remember when I was middle school, I had to go for a listening exam, and I totally freaked out. So, how can people listen more?、Uh, I think there are a lot of online platforms that you can use, such as such as YouTube. Okay. Just find whatever you're interested in. I f- I was listening to a lot of podcasts when I work out, or, or when you're driving, you can listen to、uh, any type of stuff, as、okay. long as you're interested. Okay. So the first one, listen more. How、yes. about the second one? Second one, I think it's you have to、uh, learn to think in English. Okay. Yeah, we have to do the same learning. When I was learning Chinese, I had to. Do yeah. So、thing. because what happens is when you try to translate from your mother language, sometimes it causes confusion and. Right. It ends up being not natural. Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the more that you do, the more your brain will start to develop a new way of thinking. Mhm. So that's my number two. Okay. How about number three then? Number three is try to find an environment. Oh, that's important. Yeah. But okay, so say that. But in Taiwan, how do you find an English environment? So for me, what I did was I switched my phone into English. Okay. And then whatever I listen to on YouTube is English. But how about for people who want to practice their speaking? What can they do? Um, try to find English speaking friends,、okay. whether it's on the internet or. Um, in person, I think、uh, there's a very good platform that I've been using personally. Okay. It's called Cambly. Cambly. Yes. Okay. I think I've heard of that. It's a English speaking. There's like English tutors, right? Yes.、Okay. From all English speaking countries. Okay. I actually used that before I met you. Really? Because I I was like I really wanted to practice. Uh huh. But I don't know anybody that speaks English at that time. Okay. So、yeah. you get on the website, and what do you do? Cambly 这个英文教学网站提供了广泛的英文课程。那在课程等级的部分也有去做区分，有初学者到中高级。我们可以依自己的偏好去选择喜欢的口音，那也可以去选择老师的个性。那最后呢，我们也可以去选择呃上课的时间以及上课的长度。鼓励大家来试看看。那等一下也可以来参考一下我跟两位外教老师上课的状况。Hola, cómo estás? Ah, muy bien, y tú? Ah,、uh, muy bien. Hablo poquito español. Uh, uh, 
No, just kidding, man. I want to practice my English. Uh, for, for me, I think the key is, one of the main keys is um, listening because babies learn to speak by listening. That's how babies are taught. Marhaba. <laughs> Kefik. Uh, I have a friend from Jordan. That's why I picked up a little bit of the greetings and... Yeah. Well, that's that's good. Your pronunciation was was good. Yeah, apparently you weren't expecting it. <laughs> uh, no, because I saw you were from from, from Taiwan, Taiwan. Yeah. so I was like, no. But uh, it was a pleasant surprise. Yeah, yeah. Can you help me confirm if it's true that beggars over there makes more than what we make here in Taiwan? <laughs> Uh, that that is false because begging begging is not allowed in the country. Really, so there are no beggars. There are no beggars. Yeah. Thank you for watching today's video. We hope that everyone learns a lot. So we really hope that we can help yes. you and encourage you to speak English. Don't worry about making mistakes. Don't worry about oh my English isn't perfect. Just be be you. Have fun and enjoy yourself. And it's really important to find a platform or to find friends that you can speak in English with on a daily basis or once a week, twice a week. Um, if you would like to check out the website that Eric mentioned, we have a promo code, we have a discount code for you. So you can get, basically you can get 15 minutes free trial and see if you like it. Um, the code is... Love Life. Love Life. So L-O-V-E-L-I-F-E. -E. Exactly. Okay, so thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy and we hope you learned a lot. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>